Today's lesson is all about how to make trousers, but not just how to make trousers. What it is, is that I'm using a particular pattern. This pattern that I'm going to be using today is my husband's trousers. These are one of his favorite trousers. It's a suit and it's had its days. I've repaired it so many times and this time I repaired it by putting a, um, a leather patch into the crotch, but he didn't like it. So there, this trousers was now being abandoned. So what I'm going to do today is to show you, we've made trousers before, but this time it's with a different, because this is his favorite trousers. You can't go wrong by making this one. So we're going to pull this trousers apart, but when we pull it apart, Men's trousers are made slightly different from women's trousers, whereby women's trousers you can get away with making the waistband all in one go. Men's trousers is always done in half. So there's a join right there. Always. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to pull it apart, but we're only going to pull half of the trousers apart. Right? So we're going to... Um, open it up half of it and leave the other half for your um, your sample so that you can see where it is you're going right or wrong and basically you just copy because you know when you pull things apart um, you tend to forget how it was originally so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the trousers apart rip it apart Pull one section apart, use it as your template, as your pattern, and make your new trousers. Now, I'm going to just find as many fabric that I've got in my workroom. I, I'm, I remember buying some over the years and never using it. So I'm going to use that now. It is a shame that I don't have this fabric. You never know, I might have it. And I might remake this and... Um, it won't go with the suit anymore because the colours will differ. But if you have a grey or if you have a black, it will definitely go with the trousers. So let's start unpicking this. By the way, thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you find it very interesting. This sort of thing is not only done for your husband's trousers. But you can do it for anything you like. What you've liked in the past and it's gone and it's worn out. And you thought it's had its days. But I do love this garment. On your what? I'll remake it. Just put it in half. There it goes. Take note, this was stitched on to here, so we're going to stitch it back. Leave that there. There's quite a lot of tacks down the bottom here, just to keep things stable. So just bear that in mind, that they were only tacks. Right, so the zip is good, so let's see if we can save the zip. If not, too bad. We'll put a new one in. It's always best to put a new one in anyway. You never know how old, if it was on its way out.
here we are. We've got two halves of the trousers. Now, let's see. Which half should I work on? I think this is the hardest side because of this flap here. So, I will leave that side to remind you how to do it. This is the easy side. So we'll deal with this side because you should be able to, you should remember how to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull it completely apart and put this down as my something to look upon how to do it. To remind you. We'll get on with that now. Now you can see that I have cut out uh, my fabric, but what you don't know is, did you really think I was only going to just do one? I've taken the time to um, tear my, my husband's trousers apart just to make one? You've got to be kidding me. No, I've laid my fabric down three times, so I found a fabric that I can get three pairs of trousers out of it, so that's what I'm going to do. I confirmed with my husband first before I cut it out because he's so fussy with what type of fabric. So the first thing he noticed, it's a bit thick isn't it? Well you wear jeans don't you? Come on now. But it's not as thick as jeans. This fabric is called Travera, right? And it's, uh, it looks greenish but also look brown. So I think it's, it swings on the side of brown. So anyway, I've got three pairs of trousers here. I've got enough fabric left over so that I can do him a waist jacket afterward. So he can always, because don't forget, the trousers that I pulled apart was a part of his suit. So if I make him three pairs of trousers and the waist jacket, then when he gets a jacket to go on top of this, he's got his business suit back again. And by the time I finish with this trousers, it will be qualified enough to be um, not, not tailor's made suit but um, tailor's made trousers but it is qualified good enough for him to wear out um, right so now um, I've done all the cutting out I've cut out the lining for the pocket so this is the lining for the uh, the back pocket um, I've cut out the linings for the side pockets I've cut the waistband out. The only thing that is missing from this now is on the men's trousers, they've got that kind of a hook that hooks in the trousers. So it's either you, if you can't get that, I'm going to go out and see if I can buy some. If you can't get that, then just make buttonholes. It's as good as. Now, to make the quality up, do the buttonholes inside. See how that works. But anyway, Later on I'll go and buy these hooks to put on it to make, give it a nicer finishing touch. Or oh, another thing you need as well is you need some vice binding tape which goes at the bottom of the trousers. Men trousers have that on it because funny enough they wear their trousers out so much at the bottom of this worn out and at the crotch. But I'm not surprised anyway because men do wear their trousers quite a lot whereby women we've got quite a lot of garments to change from. And our clothes is really not as, as expensive as theirs is. So we change ours quite frequently. It's a change. You hardly see us in the same time, same same thing for 10 times, unless it's your jeans. But anyway, so I've left the, I've left the um, pattern on the actual, for the, um, the back of the trousers. I've left that on because I didn't need to take it off because I just made a copy of it and left it there. Now these back pockets, pockets are 
quite difficult to make. No, actually, it's easy to make once you know how. how. But what happened is, is that they're the weakest part of the trousers. They really are uh, when you're slitting it. So you've really got to secure that. So um, I've got to cut some fabric to put inside of that. As a, anyway, but anyway, we'll go step by step how we do this. So we've taken it apart. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the pockets up. And um, the waistband here, this waistband is cut out on the bias, right? Because it needs to stretch a bit. And it's got um, um, interlining, uh, interfacing, which is iron-on, on either side. So this falls back. What I say is that the way how you pulled it apart, take note and put it back exactly the way how it was in the first place if you can help it uh, that will maintain the quality now there is a warning for all this the warning is do not i emphasize do not start something that you will not finish to make these trousers it's going to be a little bit of time take your time and do it I'm going to take my time and do it, this one. I'm not going to rush this. And um, the quality is good because my husband's got to wear it. So anything I wear is okay. But my husband, he doesn't wear what he doesn't like. Okay, so um, we'll do that. So we've got the waistband cut out for the, the trousers. And that's also going straight down. Um, I didn't show you the technique that everything... On, on this, even though this is not a stripe fat pattern that I'm using, everything is heading downwards. They're all going the same way, right? So just in case you get a stripe, just in case you get velvet, because velvet will show that it's wrong. So I'm gonna start to make this up. Oh, let me just show you the pockets. These are the side pockets. So um, this is the back. So I've got uh, three pairs of each and they go on top of each other like that. So I think this is what I'm going to start making first. I'm going to make this up and um, this is what goes inside the pocket to give it a nicer finish. So when he puts his hands in it, you see the fabric. All right, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do all this.